I'll do my Nano Sky review. This is Gaming 59 here and welcome to my review of No Man's Sky, one of the most anticipated games of this year. Probably the biggest game ever released in inside in as far as its <laughs> probably the biggest game to ever be released as far as its scale as far as its scale goes, you know how big it is there's over 18 quintillion planets in this game and you can explore every one of them if you have a lot longer than one lifetime. A lot. So I'm just going to dip and dive straight back, straight into it. So I'm just going to dive straight into this and tell you the good, the bad of the, well that's it, of this game and tell you what I think. So we'll start with the good. This game is massive. The graphics are great. The controls are easy to pick up and the exploration gets harder and harder the more you progress towards the centre of the universe. Though there isn't much of a story really, there is enough push to get you going from solar system or star system to star system so that you do not stop in one place for too long. The planets, however, are all very different. If you've got one but if you've got one solar system, some planets are support are fairly similar. Not similar to the point where you think, ah, oh, I've been here before, but similar to the point where you think, ah, oh, I get it, that planet over there was hot, this planet here is hot. The solar system itself must be fairly hot. And the animals are so fucking weird. You get some of them that look great, some of them that look... Well, some of them, let's just say, I found one that looks like it should, probably just defies the laws of physics. And this, it's like, looks too heavy on the top for it to stand up. I don't, I don't know that. The spaceships are awesome. They all look very good and the, the dog fighting, as soon as it starts, you can't go nowhere so you have to fight and it puts you right on the edge of your seat and the explore if you like exploration and survival games this game is right up your stars no this this is right up your street and you will enjoy the hell out of this game time flies with it as soon as you leave your first planet you look around and you see that that first star that first space station is six seven hours away you know you're gonna have fun if this if that is your type of game i personally enjoy just about every moment of this game so far i've played a lot i've been attacked by creatures by pirates i've traded with gek vulcan and that electronic one with a helmet face it's a very good game for me it's just got endless hours of gameplay unless you're one of the ones that's just gonna dive straight towards the middle which i am not now there is some bad to this game that people pick up on really easily. Now if you're not an exploration slash survival gamer and you're like Call of Duty but you think you know you're gonna give it a go, you're not gonna like this game. It's fairly slow paced and at times can be annoying. It's very difficult to find certain elements especially when you need them. It seems like when you don't need them they're there but when you do they aren't. Um, and a lot of the cockpits do look the same depending on the type of ship you've got. If you've got a small ship, it's going to look like a small ship from the inside. If you've got a tall ship, if, you talk, if the cockpit's pretty tall or rectangular, it's going to look tall or rectangular from the inside. No matter, no matter what type of ship it is you've got. And the gameplay, I said it was easy to pick up, but it is fairly slow. Everything has a cool down. Your jetpack, you fly, and you land, and you need to wait for it. He, you need to wait for it to cool down. And every single thing takes up fuel. So as I said earlier, if you like survival games, you're gonna like this. But if you don't, everything's gonna annoy you from fuster fuel, fuster, fuster fuel to help your lift off, from pulse engine fuel to health to your life support systems to your temperature, weather protection stuff. Everything in this game will annoy you if you do not like, do not like that. There are several things in this game that I think they could have improved on. Like I did read or I did watch a video the other day where someone has found somebody else but they weren't actually uh, there at the same time and they weren't I, I couldn't actually meet each other, which I think is a real letdown because I think that should be a thing that they should they should implement friends play together kind of thing in this game. That's what I think this game needs. Keep it more legs. Now, I did say the story is there. 
There is a story, I don't really know what it is, you wake up on a planet, you traveling to the center of the galaxy, I think. I'm not 100% sure if it's a galaxy or a universe, I'm, I don't know. But once you have got there, I don't know what happened. There isn't much of a story pushing you, it's more objectives that push you. There isn't a very good na narrative, and that is one thing I do find it's lacking. If they do make a second one, which I doubt it, they should improve on that, or if they're going to upload more big massive patches, please do and improve on little things like that in this game. I've been playing this game for a while now and I have noticed a few bugs. For instance, every now and again I go to take off from a planet and it whoosh, shoots me out of orbit, which is really weird. I also don't like the fact that pirates are coming and you pulse drive away, they are still going to keep up with you. And you can't like, for example, in Star Wars when they get chased through the asteroid field, I think, and they kind of hyper, hyper speed away, you can't do that on this because you are locked to that place when they find you and they never miss. And your shields go down fast and if you haven't got the right elements to fix your shield, you're not going to be able to fix your shield and then you're just going to die. You're gone, you're dead. That and it's a bit confusing. Sometimes icons to places don't show up. Like when you, when you leave planet, leave the planet, sometimes a space station icon doesn't appear straight away. It's fairly frustrating, especially when you're looking around trying to find it, then you get this notification, pirates incoming, oh shit, I don't know where I'm going. You finally find it, you go to fly off, and then <laughs> there they are, ba ba bang, dead. I'm not running into any big space battles between freighters yet, like we've seen in the trailers. But yeah, that's that's uh, not happened yet. I'm hoping it will happen soon. I've seen that there is black holes in this game as well, which I'm looking forward to also. And that's the good, that's the bad. Let me give you a few quick pointers. If you haven't played this game yet and you're getting this game, there's a few things you need to know. That is, you need to keep plutonium, a few tip, tips, and, tips and tricks really. Plutonium is on every planet. Fermium 9 is in orbit of every planet. You, so if you need to make space, get rid of them. That's my tip for you. Also, don't eat yellow snow, because it probably tastes awful. As well, a little icon appears of like a claw, like a, a footprint kind of thing, a red circle with an arrow. That is pointing towards... Did you just far? That is pointing towards dangerous animals. So if you see that you're going to get attacked and when you get attacked they kind of knock you away quite a lot and they can reach on top of things as well i was on top of a like a block and it was underneath it was like next to the block and it attacked me and it somehow got me and knocked me off the top of there that was frustrating i thought i was going to die and when you do die if you die in space you lose all your, all your spaceship stuff but you can fly back out to your grave um and you can actually fly towards the sun and get to the sun, I think. I tried, I got to I just didn't quite make it. But yeah, there's a few things here and there that I probably have missed. And if you noticed anything that I've missed that you like or you don't like, just comment below, let me know. We'll have a chat down there. This has been Mixed with Gaming 5 for 9. Hope you enjoyed this video and thank you to Little Baby Harry. <laughs> little Baby Harry for appearing, just volunteering. He was like, Dad, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll appear in your video. Just give me some headphones or the controller. I'll show you how it's done. It's been mixed with Game 5 Peace. Hi! And thank you if you made it to this part of the video, which is, if you haven't guessed it, the end. If you missed my previous video, BANG! It's gonna be right there. And if you wanna see what's next, you're just gonna have to subscribe. And I'll see you later. Peace! Lay still, please. Lay still, please.